I told her ass whenever. I, there, I ain't going back and forth with her. I told her ass whatever. How the soon. fuck you think that we relate and you don't got no Why cheddar? You think it's that? the big guy, little bitch. Ain't nobody better. Of course. My bitch said she finna leave. I think I'm a letter. All right, gang. So look, I was finna eat at this restaurant. Man, folks, I'm in there. I'm waiting on the food. Yadi yadi yadi. First mistake anyway was trying to get some motherfucking uh, jerk here in Tokyo. That's the first mistake. So I'm in there, right? I'm chilling. Chilling, waiting on the food, waiting on the food. Some my drink. Oh my son, bro. Oh my son, bro. Oh my son. Oh my son. Oh my son. Nigga, a roach. Like runs on the table in front of my. I got up, bro. I got up so fast, man. Like, I, I can't even. I can't even make this shit up, bro. I got up so fucking fast. And I'm like, yo, I'm good. They was trying to give me the food. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't want no food. I, I swear to God. Uh, right now, I'm starving. So. I'm really just gonna go to TGI Friday. And then da 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 type shit. But bro, that was crazy. Like, like, out of pocket. Out of pocket, bro. Like, I swear to God, bro. Like, they was like kind of upset that I didn't want the food. I'm like, fo, so a, a roach just wreck? Come on, you gotta be crazy thinking I'm gonna eat that shit. You got it, man. Hell no. They ain't had no gloves on either, too. I'm like, nah, gang. I'm gonna put the motherfucking name of the spot and shit and tell y'all so y'all don't never eat there. Don't never eat that shit. That shit ain't nowhere to be eating at. On bro, that shit's crazy. I'm my son. Look, time is What are you gonna do? Um, my boy. We just ordered a bunch of stuff, but. Probably one of some more pasta. This is a lot of us. And then maybe like uh yeah, we in Tokyo, sir, we chilling. We're right now, man. Yeah, boss is good. Good vibes, man. Really good vibes. Can't beat it. Cannot beat it, boy. Yeah, we just ordered some pasta. Yeah, it's a lot of us. Yeah, we just ordered some pasta. Yeah, we Okay, okay. Now, if you tuned into the last video, if you didn't, you should. If you, so, if you tuned into the last video, um, you've seen that I met my boy A Valley after the club. We was freestyling out He was cool. So, the next day, uh, my homie Shanice hit him up. Dog, dog, we linked up. He invited us out to dinner. It was cool. We met some cool super super cool people uh of his <clears throat> and so we went out to dinner ate food was really actually pretty good liquor was cool drinks was good like uh, everything was cool it was a decent little vibe it was kind of cold that day uh this was sunday sunday night in tokyo i didn't really do too much sunday just for one because it was like so cold and i had to go get like an sd card for my camera and everything and blase 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 so <clears throat> but yeah so this was super cool i, I really like the vibes we kicked it so um yeah this was dope oh, oh, i left the u.s and i was living in paris for like nine months and i came here for two weeks and i was staying how do you feel about some chicken or you just don't saki is over here oh no margarita pizza margarita what's the two hi and one more so stay i know but i don't want to see any other sauce I came for my birthday. I come tomorrow. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So I, I try. I come. I've been, I've been coming here every year my birthday since 2019 except 2020 yeah, and then yeah. 2021 so when when y'all when you guys opened back up last year i came back out here oh, okay so, so. Uh, where you stay in chicago i live in la oh, yeah, yeah. i live in long beach i met her i think what's up 
I love it though. I got like Elton family and family all over Chicago, all over Illinois, so it's it. But I love the food and shit in Chicago and the vibe, you know. It's like a good city. People, people be thinking I'd be biased when I say this. I said, bro, Chicago got the best food in America. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. I, that's how that's I feel. Good food is fire. Uh, I feel like Chicago. Who's like the best? Bro, Philly got some good food. Miami I've never been to Philly, so I can't. I can't. No, I worry. See, but you, see, you gotta go. It, Philly gonna have to really wild me because I really feel like Chicago yeah. like that. I'll go to Philly I give it to Atlanta on the wings. Atlanta got the best wings. I was about wings. to say Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta got the best wings. I, I never capped them down. Yeah, they got the I best wings. I go to the southern household, so I'm yeah. like down south is where it's at. I still need to go to Louisiana though. I heard Louisiana yeah. food uh, bro, is like top yeah. tier, so I gotta see. Yeah. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Miami is da da for me. And LA is da da da. Tell them who you is, man. Tell them what you do. We talk to your Instagram and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the name Babeson1994, you can see it right here. So I got anything you need, Chrome Hearts, Babe, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, anything going back to the fucking 1980s. Let me get you, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to, you Tap know, in, I got prices. Down. My prices will be anybody out there. I swear to God, you bring me a price lower than mine, I'll match it. Oh, man. Yes, sir. We really in the local spot. Yeah. The film one, yeah. The, the, yeah. Potato salad. And then this one is... I don't know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if it's I don't know. But I remember this also. Oh, this is also part of the city. We vibing, man. Oh, okay. I ain't never seen that. What, what city are we in again? Uh, we in Kudamai. Who's that? K U K U R A M A E. Got it. I'm from America. He moved over here. I asked him if he can name three things that's that he loves about Tokyo from. Well, that's better about Tokyo than America town. Go ahead, bro. The convenience. The convenience. I do miss a, I do miss my car. Like I miss my car heavy. But like I think the convenience of like yeah, being able to like drink and then go home. Why you drinking? You feel me? There's something about that freedom is just different and I really like that. Um being able to walk around on a real tip, being able to walk around like you know to walk around and be completely lost in like my music and shit like that and really taking the scenery without having to like put my head on the swivel you know i love back home don't get it twisted but at the same time that shit fucked up so it's like it's nice to be able to just to feel that you know and it just just to have that sense of like safety and that aspect and then the third thing yeah, to keep it a buck, the ramen is nice ramen. out here. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get to that. Bro, I went back home, right? Yeah, yeah. So I know y'all were talking about the ramen spots and shit like that, right? But I went back, I went back home and it like- It wasn't the same. It wasn't the same, bro. I'm not trying to pay $20 for a bowl of ramen. And I know the, the flavor is capping. I, I can't even hold you. You know, I used to like, when I was going out to school out here, bro, I didn't have no money. I was getting ramen for three dollars, yeah. like three dollar ramen. That shit kept me alive with the bean sprouts on top. You know, like that shit kept me really going. So that was cool. But I feel like yeah, the ramen, the ramen definitely okay. one of them. So one thing, one thing you said that I like that was a hit for me, and I, I was crazy you said it because I put put it on my story. It's just the safety aspect. So I was like, and they're like, yo, why you keep going back to Tokyo or da da da? I'm like, bro, it's. The thing that I love is simple fact. I said, bro, nobody's trying to rob me. Nobody's trying to harm me. I don't got to look over my shoulder every... I said, I'm not saying it like it's sweet. Yeah. Nothing in life is ever going to happen to me over here. But it's not a constant fear. When I go out in Chicago, I'm I, I'm thinking, is this the day? Like, is this the day I got to kill somebody? My, when I'm in LA, I'm like, yo, is this the day I got to kill somebody? Is this day somebody going to try to kill me? Is this day somebody going to try to rob me? So it's like, a, it's that constant thinking like, damn, do I got to protect myself today? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah, like, that. over here, I don't, I ain't thinking about that. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, like, even when I'm, I'm walking through the darkest alleys by myself, and it's like, I feel safe. Mm. I, I could never do that back at the crib. Like, yeah. I, don't know, I feel like I can go wherever here. Like, even in the sketchy places, I, I was in a red light district on an accident, yeah, yeah, yeah. just because I was in a club over there. Yeah. It still gave me a sketchy vibe, but it was still nothing compared to like the crib. I still didn't feel like nobody was gonna do nothing to me. Nah, fact so, because they minding their own business, yeah. bro. And I, and I think, yeah, that, that really is the point. It's like, you know, just being able to, have that and like even when people come up to you and they compliment you on your clothes yeah. or they look at you 
like you know back home you know you you, you click okay why are you looking at me what's going on with you yeah, you got some problem yeah, yeah. with me do we gotta do we gotta talk about something and it's not always the case because you know people show love all over the place right but here i feel like it's just like you don't have to have that subconscious wall up and it's just like you know it's it's easier to just get along because everybody's on a different tip go back go back i i will say like uh I, it was like that when i went in Har to harlem club harlem every single car good luck man so like every time i went to harlem like you be in line you know you wait in the line and like uh people looking me up and down like but it's like they're not looking at looking me up like like they only oh, sizing this nigga up. It's like, oh yo, you're fresh. Like yeah, they, right, they, they right, like, right. oh bro, I love the chain. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm like, can I love you? Too? Like, so it's kind of like a love thing. It's not like a, it's like at the crib if somebody was looking me up and down, I'm like, oh, this might be one of those. But here yeah. I'm like, oh, they just like what I got on. Exactly. Uh, they like, just trying to compliment you. Yeah. Man. You know, throw you a little confidence yeah. away. That's I'm it. Like, okay. That's what we all need for real. For yeah. Real. yeah. So yeah, I like it out here. Um, one thing I have been noticing though. And, and it just happens to us on the train. Yeah. It seems like, and this not it's not yeah. everybody, but it seems like kind of with like the older generation, yeah. they don't kind of like mess with us that much. Okay. 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 So right here, y'all, we had ended up going to the temple, <clears throat> which I've been to this temple, uh, I think once before when I came last year, but this time was kind of dope, bro, because my boy Valley, right. He know how to read in Japanese. So like that number right there, that's a number. I would have never knew that was a number nine because I don't know how to read Japanese. But so here I thought it was cool. You put in a little money um, and then you get your fortune. You pull a stick out from one of the, the containers and then those look cabinets right there. Those are where uh, you pull out to get your fortune. And I got the number nine, which I thought was kind of dope because just before that, I was just talking about the nine-tailed fox. So the whole thing to me was dope. So yeah, yeah, I love it. This is my fortune? Yeah. <laughs> you got this, this one, right? This one I got, Brusky. Probably bad. Nine, you were just talking about the nine-tails. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And then... This is yours right here. Oh, uh, oh. oh, you gave me two. Oh, you gave me two. My bad, my bad. Okay. I'll put this back with down there. Oh, nice. Alright, so all this is what I got. They say if you try to if you try to be famous, it will come out as you hope. For example, if you have three kinds of hope, three will be completed. God will keep, God will come and where he points to, flowers and fruit, fruits grow tiny. Good fortune will come and bring you happiness. Your wishes will be realized. The sick person will recover. The lost article will be found. The person you are waiting for will come building a new house and removal are good marriage and employment are all good making a trip all right you know what I'm saying? my shit dope hey tough look, look read what i say that shit dope oh best fortune try to be funny if you try to be famous it will come out as you hope for example you have three times the hope we will be completed is it only five cents five. yeah five Can you throw a 10 in there? Is, is, is the problem if you put 10 in there? I, I don't the, have a the seat. Five, the five yen. Yeah. It's, uh, it represents? It's, it's the circular chocolate. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. So 10, it don't matter. It's not that deep. Yeah, I'm going to shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> we say five, I'm going to do five. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, bro. We got five on there. Okay. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's my last day here. Um, so what is this? Day five? Day five? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday. Day five. Day five. 
Um, yeah, man. Uh, it's cool. I kind of don't. I ain't gonna lie, being here but has made me hate LA. Like, I already really was tired of LA, but like, this shit really, bro, everything is so cheap. Like, eating out here is cheap. Catching an Uber is cheap. Catching a train is cheap. Um, going to the club is cheap. The people are so genuine and real. Um, like, last night we got invited. So, we, like, um, the. The homie I met from Kansas City, right? Um, the other uh, night, whatever, right after the club that y'all seen. Um, he invited me and my homies and shit uh, to go out to eat. We come eat. Um, they got food ready for us, drinks. Um, you know, y'all y'all seen the shit, drinks. Um, everybody there do something like into fashion or something like that. Um, and after that, we went to, he took us to the temple because my homies don't never been to the temple. I've never been to the temple at night either. So I've been to the temple in the day, but I've never been at night. It's a different type of vibe at night. So we go at night and we see this and we see that. And then da da da. He's just, he's just real cool, bro. And uh, he helping us like read like the, the y'all y'all seen it when I pulled out my fortune and all that. Like da da, he reached out to me. So y'all seen that. Um. I might, I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the video yesterday or if I'm gonna put that in today. I don't know. Uh, I haven't even started even attempting to edit yet. So, you know, so, no reason with me. Anyway, um, yeah, bro. So we, we go, we catch a, we catch an Uber to his crib. We go to his crib and then, um, no lie, bro. It was dope. It was a dope vibe. We go in there, um, chill, we listen to some music. He shows us his music, show my music, we vibe, and we talking, and yada, yada, yada. Then afterwards, he takes us to the train station, helps us catch the train. I didn't I didn't have any yen on me. I spent all my cash, because I, I gave him my cash to help pay for the bill. So he bought me a, a ticket to get on the train. Real cool nigga. Then he got on the train with us, like for the first ride, so that we could see where we was going. And then I was like, yo, bro, it's so crazy out here. Like the people are like so genuine. You don't meet you don't meet a lot of people like this in LA. And so it's like wow, um, this is very different. It's like I'm not I'm not used to this. It ain't even just LA. It's just like in America. Period. Like back at the crib, you would have got back though. Like somebody was going back, you would have got back though for sure. So the the fact that like it, everything was cool, I'm like yo, this is this is crazy. Like this is crazy. So. I just really love it out here, bro. I just really, really love it. Like, man, I just be thinking like, man, I wish, I ain't gonna say I wish, cause like, but I'm thinking like, damn, bro. Like, if I didn't have kids and shit, I would move out here. But it's like, I got too many responsibility back in the States to like even fucking thinking about, like even think about it, bro. So, but man, bro, like for, for, for you to have like a family, a whole family and you get your whole family move out here, I think it's dope. Um, if you're single or it's just you and your girl and no kids, I think you can move out here. I think we'll, even if you just do it for like a like a few months or a year, I think it's dope. I think it's life changing out here. Um, so I just think it's life changing. So that was just like an intro for the day. Uh, I'm trying to see if I'm gonna cut the videos up until to like five parts since it's different days or whatever, or right, four parts because I, I didn't do that much the first day I got here. So. Um, yeah, so today I do the go-kart shit and then we probably go out to eat and then fucking, um, I'm gonna go to the club later. I'm, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna go to Club Harlem again. I think I'm gonna just go to Club Harlem. Like, I I feel like I had so much fun in that bitch. So it's just like, yo, I'm gonna I'll go back type shit. And then I leave tomorrow at five in the afternoon. So, yeah, so. We'll see how we're gonna see how it go. But y'all finna do my homework. It's uh 8 12 in the morning. It is my birthday. Cheers. Uh it's my birthday, it's November 13th. Uh, yeah, we're gonna rock out like that, y'all. Alright, y'all. 
So I went to a Denny because it was like legit right around the corner from my Airbnb. I thought this was different. So you don't order with the waiter. You order everything off this tablet. Um, it's all different type of food. I'm talking about bro food that like our Denny's don't even have in America. Like it was really, really good food there. Uh, what was so crazy gang was like out of all the stuff I ordered, it was five dollars. Oh yeah, and when you go to the Denny there, you gotta get up and go get your own drink because like all you can drink, da da da. But it was decent, that was a little decent meal. So I was messing with it, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so I just came from Denny. Uh it was actually pretty decent. I got um what did I get? I got some French toast or something like that. Um it was cool. It was cool. It was, um, it was good. It was only like five bucks. You get this, like a drink bar. You get just keep going up, getting as many drinks as you want. Um, the fresh toast was good. It was like legit five bucks, bro. And they had so much other food. Like I was like, wow. It was, it was good. I don't even eat Denny in America, so it was crazy. It was, it was, it was all right. Um, Right now, I'm finna go to this other, I'm finna go to this store like called Don Donkey or some, some shit. I'ma show you when I get there. It's like a convenience store. Uh, I need to buy a suitcase because my suitcase is, my suitcase is broke. So I said I was gonna get a new suitcase when I came over here. So, and then after that, I'll probably go and do the Mario Kart stuff. So, y'all, tune in. Quick. Quick little thing to tell y'all, right? Because I don't feel like enough vloggers uh, talk about this. You feel me? Because I know y'all want to get on a go kart, shorty. But in order to get on a go kart, you need one of them international driver driving permit. Um, this is very important. Uh, you can't just go to anyone. I don't know about other countries. I don't know about other countries. But if you're coming from America and you're going to Japan, um, Tokyo to be Pacific because you want to do the go karts. You has to be triple A. Has to be triple A. Um, very simple. Uh, you can set up an appointment if you want. I didn't. I just walked in. Um, I just walked up in there. It cost me twenty dollars. So the driving permit costs us twenty dollars. You do need to take a picture. If you already have like your little passport picture that you took. Um, like the actual photo, you can give it to them, and they, uh, they you can use that. If not, they take your picture there um, for about like 15 bucks. It was so it's like an extra. So I think altogether I pay like 30, probably like 35, about 35 bucks. I'm sorry. Um, you're you're going to need one of these. First time I went to Tokyo back in 2019, I tried to use a different international driver driving permit. And they would not take it. They said only triple A. So um, you you do need triple A. Get triple A. Um, I feel like enough vloggers don't talk about that. Even when you go and you try to drive, it legit tells you we only take triple A. So I don't know about like the other countries, but if you're coming from America and you're trying to drive in Japan, uh, you're going to need a triple A international driver's license. Um, so yeah, definitely call maybe if you got a triple a around you call and see da 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 you might even be able to like do it <laughs> you might even be able to do it over like just over the mail or whatever but if you got one near you it has to be a um travel triple a too it just can't be a regular triple a because i don't think all the triple a's take takes pictures so it has to be the, the traveling triple a but um yeah i got i went in it was no like wait process i went in um i went in did my paperwork took a picture got my thing it took cold process maybe took like 20 25 minutes at best um and i was out of there bro it was legit nothing you can use it for other countries um it says aruba canada fiji finland france zimbabwe Switzerland, like also, you can use it for other countries. Uh, it's good for up to a year. Um, but yeah, you're definitely, 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 definitely need one of these. So, 
please make sure you have one of these before you go over there. I just wanted to, I just wanted y'all to know that because, like I said, I went in 2019. I had a different one. I didn't, I did, was in AAA and I was not able to ride the go karts. I was highly disappointed. So I don't want nobody going to the same thing as me because a lot of people go to Tokyo just for that. So when they go there and they find out, oh, I need a driver permit, did not know that. And so they're like, kind of salty because you don't get the ride but yeah get one of these y'all yo shorty so yeah joe we got on them uh go cards yo i was feeling just like mario then you feel me um Bro, it was so dope. It was like it's on uh, oh, oh my mama game. It was just like a a dope vibe. It really felt like a dream. Like it felt like you was in a video game. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm really cruising the streets of Tokyo in a go kart. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, game. It was kind of wild out there because the cars that's driving, they don't care that you're tourists and they don't care nothing about the go karts. So you do gotta be careful when you own them, and you gotta stay up with the group. My group, it was only um, it was only like three of us. Um, the two girls that was with me, they was from Chicago, so it was cool. You know, I'm from Peoria, so we all was kind of like low key vibing with that Illinois vibe. I didn't put on a suit like how she got on uh, Charizard. I didn't put on nothing. Um, that was our guy. His name was Travis. Yeah, Travis, 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 Travis. I'm pretty sure it was Travis. He was dope, man. He was getting up, taking pictures of us, like dope areas, um, telling us details about the places where we was at. I couldn't hear him that much because I was in the back, like Rose Parks. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, you know, Rose Parks was in the front, but no, I was in the back though, so I really couldn't hear him because the bikes, I mean, the uh, go karts were so, so loud, so I couldn't really hear what he was saying. Sorry, I ain't on the IT. So, but no, he was dope, man. Um, he made sure we were safe. We all stayed with our group. Um, it was, we actually rode out in a big group, but we kind of like all split up. So I made sure to stay with this group because this is the group I was feeling with. I was feeling the most, so da da da.
shit. I know where we at. This the game area. This the game area. I showed y'all this the other day. No bad. I just showed y'all this. Just told y'all this. Wouldn't fold, can't go on the pro. You know? Chilling. It's my birthday. Um, I'm riding through Tokyo. This shit a dream. I can't make this up. Cannot make this up, sorry. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Yeah, man, so the whole little tour was, was dope to me. I ain't gonna lie, Shorty. Um, it took like an hour. I think I think the tour is like an hour, maybe a little bit more. Uh, you got to see dope, dope sights. I ain't gonna lie. Um, when you book, it's different. Like, it's different areas where you can book. Like, I wanted to do Shibuya, but Shibuya was all booked up, so I did the Sky Tree. That's why you guys keep seeing the Sky Tree uh, tower or whatever. So I did the Sky Tree, but yeah, I definitely recommend anybody to when you come to tokyo please do this this is such a dope experience when i go back next time i'm definitely going to do it um i i recommend to book early don't wait till the last minute but yeah definitely do this super fun on my mind all right sure so as y'all know yeah i know i am a rapper no but <laughs> oh my oh my girl my shorty but no nah. so um yeah, bro, when I come to Tokyo, I ain't gonna lie, I always try to shoot a video. One of my very first videos, like, was in Tokyo back in 2019, I came, and I used my iPhone. I never can get, like, an actual cameraman, so I just do what I can do, so. Here, I shot a music video, my homie Lex shot it for me, with my vlogging camera, and then my homie Jimmy is actually editing it. So, yeah, keep in tune for the music video, the shorty, you know what I'm saying, we going crazy. Uh, but no, I was lit. I'm even getting better with shooting videos. I used to be nervous to shoot videos in public because everybody was like, oh, I don't know why looking at me. But bro, as you see in the back, nobody care about me. Like everybody just keep doing whatever they got going on. Some people not even looking at me at all, gang. Like they just don't care. So it's like in Tokyo, bro, everybody kind of just mind their business, bro. Like nobody's really thinking about you. You just do your thing. You were doing their thing, folks. And that's just what it is, gang. I ain't gonna lie. So. Yeah, we was lit though. I was trying to hold a video. I was teed. I ain't never been that teed to shoot a video on purpose, bro. Like I said, I'm usually a nervous, shy person. So I'm like, yo, bro, I'm lit. But yeah, bro, the video's dope. Uh, we got some dope scenes. I just wanted to throw this in here just to show y'all. But yeah, it was hard. Yo, yo, so like in the middle of us shooting the music video right now, we in a Shibuya and a crossing walk, right? Um, the zoo was taking pictures and my homie Lex was like, man, we should ask him if we could like get some pictures with the fans taking pictures. He didn't take the money, but he did take pictures of us. So we had a photo shoot right in the middle of Shibuya, bro. I thought it was so hard. I'm gonna put his uh, Instagram down here, his shorty. Show him some love, cause he definitely showed me some love, man. Uh, if you're ever in Tokyo, hit him up on Instagram. Maybe y'all can get some pics or some um these are the pics he took like bro look at that come on bro i'm my am i am i him you feel me like bro you going crazy bro. like diamond shine I'm, I'm that dude like i'm really that dude bro these pictures was dope like all in like all in all i was like yo some good pictures um i've always wanted to take pics at the shibuya crossing but i like i said i be dolo i be solo dolo so like to have somebody take my pics, yeah, bro. I'm with my homie Black. Y'all talking about Shorty? We in this thing, in the pack. So, we in fucking Shibuya. We at the fucking crossing. You see where the fuck we at, Shorty? Um, we just shot a fire ass video. Fire. No cap. Wait. Look, there's no excuses, on oh, bro. Ain't no excuse. We just shot a fire ass video with limited, 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 limited resources oh bro By limited we mean one camera <laughs> oh, what's the camera <laughs> that's not even meant for shooting videos it's a straight vlogging camera so like oh and i bet you this shit still come out fire on bro so we just did work what we what we had da 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 
Uh, came up with shit on the spot. Shit hard. Uh, yeah, bro, last night in Tokyo, for me, gang out here some more days and shit. Um, definitely gotta come back though. We made too many connections out here. Um, good ass time. Everybody we met was just great vibes. Food was cheap, good. Um, Bro, say that part again. Yeah, bro. Cheap, cheap and, and good. good. Oh, bro. Usually you can never say them two together. So the simple fact shit, bro, my fucking Airbnb was cheap and nice. Like, da da da. Like, people we met was nice. Look, they got that shit on, bro. They just really got that shit on. No bad, folks. But yeah, we just. This has been a good ass trip. Like, I didn't been a lot of places. Like, I swear to God. If you ever just wanted like a peace of mind trip, this is it. You don't even gotta come over here and do shit. It's really just a peace of mind trip. Like, it's just, I don't know, bro. I can't even describe it. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's that good. And I thought it was just me, but gang said the same shit. Bro. Nah, facts, big facts, bro. It's probably the calmest, chillest I've been in like two years. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. The gang go yeah, every crazy. fucking where. Crazy. Like, so. You know, like for real, it's just it's just a cool ass place to like chill, get your mind off things, bro. And I feel like every time I swear to God, every time I come here, I awaken some whole other shit. Every single no cap, I just thought about that game. Every single time I come to Tokyo, when I leave, I make a take. I swear to I God, love that. I, love my, I love that for you. My, my I love first, that for you. the first time I came, my first time ever visiting Tokyo is how I made my first album. He's fresh as hell, right? I was I was people. I was like, I like that hat. I don't. I couldn't pull it off though. But he got well, that shit on. You got. You tried. You probably couldn't. Fuck around. He got that shit on. Yeah. But yeah. Every time I came here, it's like, I when I leave, it just my thoughts be inspired. Like I got no cap. I made my first album after leaving here. I made whatever, which a lot of y'all said was y'all favorite tape for me after coming here. So matter of fact, bro, both of. Both of the tapes that people say are their favorites, I made after leaving Tokyo. My first tape, which everybody always be like, oh, you need to rap like that again, and whatever, which was like, I got a lot of good feedback on. Oh, da da da. All right. So, that's shit over with now. So, um, yeah. I had a great night. I had a great like time. I, um, I had a great time in Tokyo. Probably my best time. Um, trying out the video. Um, I actually met some cool ass people. Um, I met some people to kick it with when I got here. Before I even got here, actually. Um, Get the Mario Go Kart shit, which I've been wanting to do since 2019. Um, I got, I got some bait. Another bag over there. Oh. I don't have no complaints. Um, this one. This, I'll put this under my London trip. My London. I'm not saying that I think London is better than Tokyo because I don't. I'm just saying the amount of fun I had in London was like. But it was because. I was at a better time financially before I go to LA. Oh, um, two. My uh, my homie was with me, Kristen. She was not my roommate. Three. I brought my fucking nigga Jimmy out there. Who was my cameraman. And yeah, we just had fun. We was cooking it, man. It was like it was like mmm. One of was lit. I mean, you could say it was neck and neck. It just depends. I had good ass fun. That shit crazy. Mm. 
my homie Lace just texted me, told me she in it back. But yeah, folks, so shout out. I still got Melatonin's. But yeah, bro. Um, that's really all I got to say. Uh, it's the last part of the vlog. Like I said, I don't know how many parts it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be four. I'm only gonna do five parts. I'm gonna do four. Thank y'all for tuning in with me. Subscribe. Thank you for tuning in with me. Subscribe. Thank you for tuning in with me. Subscribe. Look at my mixtape, bro. Hold on, look. I just dropped. It's my birthday. Go get that. Go get that. It's on everything. All right, y'all. Number six. Feel me? Hey, pipe up, hood, Rich. I don't know you, nigga. I ain't never heard your name. Never. Niggas said we alike. I don't think that we the same. I don't think so. Niggas think this is a joke. I don't think we playing games. We if I get packed up out of the fed, I don't think I'm saying names. Nothing. Niggas say he don't like me and he gon' kill me. He just saying things. Just if I hit this lick, I stop my wrist and buy a brand new chain. Me. I don't know if I'ma go to tracks or go to Johnny Dane. Johnny. If I go to tracks, I hit up Kenny. He gon' do his my thing. Bitch, I feel like Jeezy with this shit. I motivate the scatter. What when free my niggas move about that bitch. They tryna give him the hammer. Me. What you need, you know I got that Gina and I got that Pamela. Okay. Scam a nigga, then I just said sorry. I forgot my.